Welcome to Dangriga Town, the culture capital of Belize. This is another edition of Great Belize Cooking. I'm your host, Chef Sean Quillin. I'm excited for the This is my home tongue, man. Watch out, you talk about culture capital, you talk about Garin Magu and a lot of music. But we also have a rich cuisine. So I want to deconstruct what is already perfect. All I want to do is showcase, I'm going to Sabal's cassava farmer. The only one in the country from the 1980s he did it. And we have taken the whole process from the cassava ground to the, to the, to the finished product. And next we're going to the tongue pear because when you think about garifuna cuisine, you think about coconut milk, seafood, the freshest of everything. So we're going to get some rati. Who knows? Maybe I'll leave it as cindery. I don't know what will happen next. Let's go. Kemalao. Sure yes, man. Big <laughs> so we're here at Sabal's Cassava Farm. Mr. Cyril Sabal has been doing this thing from the 1980s. This is the only cassava factory in the country of Belize. I call it a factory because this is a massive operation. Mr. Sabal, we have to go dig up the cassava first, right? There is where we start. Yes, we can't have cassava product without cassava. Come on, bruh. Let's go. Let's go. Do one more. I see ants. We are not. That's <laughs> that the part of where we go through. The ants, they eat the cassava. No, they don't really have any effect on it. They look for their own feed. Okay. What kind of ants that? Red ants. Red ants. You know, when I go to the market sometimes and you, you see cassava and you don't know what's inside, you always want the tip when you go to the market. Ask them for chop it, not you? Yeah, yeah. Because sometimes inside. Sometimes it's rotten, sometimes it's it kind of um, a wool, then it's more fibrous than starchy. What are the qualities you look for for a good cassava? Um, the texture. Because yeah. they're not much, they're not, you, you don't want lone fiber, mm -hmm. but you also want fiber. So white is good. White is excellent. Beautiful. So that's so easy? Just pick up cassava? Yes, that. Easy because I only do two. <laughs> if you may have to do the whole farm. <laughs> but that worm they grow, right? Yeah. You know what worm means? That it is organic. Yep. Uh, if you put fertilizer pesticide, the worm is dead. Uh -huh. That's a beautiful indication that this is a naturally organic product. So you have to cut this up and bag up. Cut it. Yeah, ready? Oh. It's a quick thing, man. Process and peel and wash in the, in the shed. Let's go. Yep. That's yeah. The cow that they watch me. They're hungry too. You feed the cow cassava? Yeah, they, they eat the skin. So what we have to do first? We first uh, peel it and then yeah, wash. Yeah, show me how to peel one. So give a leaf. Yeah. So you do a thousand pound. Uh-huh. Wow. So this process that is actually the last um where I say um hands process where right? no mechanized yet. We know a whole lot, all you have rub them against yourself, push them around and around and they clean their ones. Yeah. Then I like cat. <laughs> but cat clean the ones. <laughs> After we peel and wash, uh -huh. now the the machine does the great thing. So traditionally you may have to use Waegi. Yeah. Waegi. Where are Egi? So that are the one with the egi. sand and you put it. Yeah, the greater thing. We are, we are see that right now. This is Egi. You, you could try that too. Ah okay then. I want to do some here. Good! 
Work me. So how you show me? I don't know, okay. Well, you're not in the cafe. Well, look at you. <laughs> that, that be careful that one. Hey. Normally that up okay. and down with the whole with the whole hundred pounds. Uh-huh. And then so uh, uh, backwards, right? And uh -huh. then so it's not, back again. It's so that, yeah, so, <laughs> so they choose one somewhere uh -huh. where they put keep courage. Which one is it? So this are the traditional yeah, way. Yeah, that, that I mean one time. But then you uh, realize that we, we can't stay all the other in life they work. So yeah. we have to go. Technology. Okay, good. Man, thank goodness for your equipment and the moisture. Mm -hmm. No. What is it called? Sibiba? Sibiba. Sibiba the grated cassava. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have the wet one and the dry one. This is obviously wet and cassava bread is a dried product, right? Uh -huh. So we need to subtract the moisture. Traditionally, we use the waula. This is the waruguma. Ruguma. 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 Yeah, ruguma. Ruguma, waula. Waula because it looks long yeah. like a fat snake. That's why they call it waula. Yeah, and the way it swallow and thing. And then you traditionally now either have to go up there, load it for up there. No, you take it down and you load it, then you hang it back. Somebody uh -huh. would have it up there for you catch it for make sure it's gone. And then you pull it, then you squeeze put, it, you put weight the bottom. Uh -huh. Once it's full, you put weight the bottom and then sit down on it. Uh -huh. And then the juice that will seep off at the side. You need a good sit down there though. Well, some people say you can't move, you can't shake. A lot of rules when you sit down on it. <laughs> and then mostly the, the farmers do it so they have yeah. mosquito and things. Oh, but then mosquito bite you can't move you, too? They say you can't move. Can't you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> this one uh, do the same thing. All right. They, again, we come up with technology. Uh -huh. While the Ruguma would have take like two person, one person full it up and yes. the next person they up there. That only carry 40 pounds and then this one uh, carry 200 pounds. Wow. One person do the 200 pounds, yeah, at the same time where two person do the 40 pounds. All right, so this make out a titai? Yeah, and this, titai. And then now you use yeah. sack. This is the only material where plat, like yes. the titai. So when pressure is added, yes. then the fine material not seep out, but only the juice seep out. So what's happening now? The pressure, juice, the pressure and the juice push down. The Liquid. This is a cyanide. But when you cook it, it is not it, poisonous. It is. Hibisa, that a manual way, traditional way, as sieving. So uh -huh. we are move this fire for carry that is hibisa. Okay. So this is a sibiba minus uh -huh. liquid. Minus liquid. All right. Good. So traditional way as sieving. Same basket that I. What is the name again? Hibisa. Hibisa. These are the only thing you still keep traditional. You know, got nothing else to do this with. Well, the the machine do it. Okay. Mm. Oh yes, this That's is a fine, fine, powdery, dried. All yeah. right, bruh. Let's go yeah, to the technology. So we, we are dealing with this machine. Good. Only time left for convert this wood now for yes. stainless steel. Yes, I see, I see, I see, I see. But then you painted grey. Look like stainless. Well, our image. <laughs> it's an optical illusion. <laughs> That's wicked. So it grates on top and saves at the bottom. You know why, why you do? And why your cash register work like that? Because saints do when you don't do <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Mm -hmm. Again, mm -hmm. pure cassava. Now, this sieve material, Place on the kumal uh -huh. and then bake for make the cassava bread. Ereba. Ereba. And the palazzo make that thing famous too. <laughs> These are the sibiba where we don't sieve and now we bring it this side for Tilla who are doing the baking. So this is Tilla? So, uh -huh. Your Tilla, sister? My sister. Okay. She does the baking. Okay. Me, you know. Make, mm -hmm. Show me your photo. <laughs> this is uh, about two pounds. Uh -huh. oh. Cassava. You have to clean your kamal. Mm -hmm. You call this again? 
Base sour or a brew? Base sour, okay. So make it clean. Yes. Mama, go there. No, no oil. No oil. No oil. No yes. All right, good. Yeah. Put it in there now. Then I put it, um, the sebeba and the, uh, the kamal. Uh -huh. I have to spray it, right? But I know I try because my one I look like mm -hmm. like hummingbird gap. And I got a lot of cracks and crevices. I'll leave it to the professional. The kamal must have a certain amount of heat if you don't have a so you use firewood? Mm-hmm. So it has to have even, even all around. Heat. Equal yes. heat. Yes. Yes. I use yes. a broom to yes. level off. They say humps and bumps on the hummingbird that oh, they're yeah. talking about. You don't want the bumps on the no, humps. No. Then I kind of lash it, make it go. Who old are you or Cyril? Me. You mean lash like that when me young? <laughs> and then you get trouble. Yeah, so that they practice the yeah. lash. Yeah. This stuff will move. We'll call this one, yeah. This has, this hibise. Hibise? Yeah. Oh, the same hibise, yeah, 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 yeah. But a small one. Again, for done, pull up some of the gaps. Pull up the gap. Yeah, pull up the gap. Then I use the broom to sweep off when I want. Mm -hmm. Each bread takes like five or six minutes to bake complete. Wait in a move. How much of this you bake a day? Well, that depends. Uh, 75. the even heat like you said because if it did have even heat you may have a libron spot but, spot. Mm -hmm. but obviously your your fire is very even you have to cut it on the command because that's the best time yes the best time it's just scored yes okay. if you score it after yes. the hard up then it, 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 it crumbles not give you the shape where you yes want. but this is not how this is not how you do it for the you usually do it bigger yeah this no go to the garbage. No, no. no. Garbage. Nothing. You grate this, and then this becomes farina. Yeah. And what is farina? Farin. Where you, you, how you how you use it here? Garifuna. We we use it as a porridge. Porridge. Milligi. Milligi uh, yeah, milk. is milk, huh? Yeah, you add milligi to it. Milk, sugar, your um, nutmeg, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cassava is finished now. So I move from here and I put it on the table mm. to cool. Ereba, Ereba. From the Komal cool final product. Products and byproducts, cassava bread, mm -hmm. big and small. Mm -hmm. We have the one with the additives, sugar and ginger. Ginger. We have marinated. Spicy. Spicy. Then we have the farina. Mm -hmm. We have the cassava starch, the cassava flour. We have the this are the hio from the the coarser material from the cassava. Why? Look here, amazing. I'm still covered in a <laughs> cassava and a machine oil make. I tell you, boss, thank you very much for inviting me to your place. I love your mission statement to preserve, what is it? To preserve, preserve culture. culture while producing a natural, healthy food and feed the world and maintain the Garifuna culture. Excellent, I love that part. Maintain the Garifuna culture. Say my bra. Say my bro. Thank you. This is the fact I get excited because now I will take the products that we just do and I will make my twist on it. You know I, I, I grew up the Greek, so we're going to go play with the farina, we're going to play with the spicy cassava, and guess where I'm going next? Tongpea. Stay tuned. This is a Dangriga town pier. Guaranteed, any time of day, no okay, the weather. Right now, it's not even that sunny, but people will be on this pier fishing. What are the first thing they catch? Rati, they catch the fishing for fish and stuff. On the beach, they, they go and comb it for a thing called Cinderella. We'll find out about that later. But um, here we have Sheldon, well, Rati fisherman. How often do you come out here, boss? Most of the time when I'm free from there. Huh? Every day? Most of the time when I'm free. Okay, good. So, so, so what are rati? Rati actually is sea crabs. What crab? Yeah. You have claws? 
Yes, they got different kind. They got the blue back rat here and the hammer back. Uh -huh. So they got one in a garifuna named Haroru. Haroru, that was like the translation in a garifuna for crab. For crab, and then the hammer back that they... What, what are the difference? The hammer back kind of reddish. So that, uh, that one they eat at too? Yeah, that one is nice too. So they eat the hammer back, they eat it. So one red, one blue? Blue. Yes, okay, sir. which one is nice, that? I said both. Oh, but okay. mostly blue. Because some of them come like extra fat, like bigger. Okay. So what they... What do you use for bait? Like, any kind of meat mostly, so like chicken, fish. Use chicken foot. Yeah, yeah neck and back. Your boss, yeah, neck and back. Like neck and back are the best. Right. So you made your net. Really, the um rati chop. That was like, like cast net. We cut out, cut out a piece, which we know a rati a can come out, and uh -huh. we just like get something with a metal we could sink yes. heavy enough and turn it into a circle and just uh -huh. like sew it, stitch yeah. it. I noticed you have one made from uh, like aluminum, reed wire we call it. So you have to put some spark plug for. Like a sink yeah, catcher? Be because that one there, me uh, so light. Yeah, me uh, drift and eat the water and then the rat, you know, me uh, get like chance to go in the second yard to move. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. So show me how to do it and I'll do it too. You don't swim in it and just swim it outside here. Like the frisbee. Oh, like frisbee. Yeah. That's like that. So I see that you throw by the rack. Why is that? Because right now the rat is in there. They most no party go. Hide from fish and predators. Yes. Because then, like, it come at the bottom of the water, pretty beautiful. Fish, they consider well if they want to have the fairly snack or yeah, yeah. So they go by the rack. So yeah. you throw by the rack and you catch. Yeah, because it come, so you can't catch out. They carry now, they come out, they're free. Okay. So by the rack, you got the advantage. Okay. Or more, the best advantage. Best, best thing you could do. You ever get bite by Rati? Once. Cho? Yeah. The pipe in you. For the singer. You hurt? Bad. <laughs> you never want to go, one opinion. But you got a lot of chip up, man. Then they have to go hunt. Oh, I'm in a fight. No. Nah. You fight with Rati, man. <laughs> so I hope we get some. We have to wait now. Yes, sir. Great. Oh, how long am I here? So why are you waiting for the Rati? You can't beat this view, man. Not really. Nice. Peaceful, not you? Yeah. That view, you don't have to. This is peaceful. You bring questions, I reply. You think you think you got by now? Yeah, go raise it now too, man. When you raise it, you know, just pull it straight in. Try like raise it up like this slow, so oh. it, the net could balance up once anything in okay. there. Wait, I see one. You sure? I lost no need. Wait, I rock boy. Good boy. No catch none of us. Cut a lay. Watch out, this is the only way for catch right here, or you got another way? Yeah, double go. Which ship? Where the double go? You and the net have to go in the water. Uh huh. <laughs> you ready for get wet? No, no, yeah. Okay, we could try that one. Korea is the one that we That's one? That's the one that you fly. Oh, that this one is. Chop one. Now, can we try to get one then? Yes, please. Go look for scenery? Yeah. So, we're looking for scenery. Scenery that like a little small teeny when you ever, you ever see a mussel or a mollusk? It's a little, little, tiny, teeny mollusk shell with a little bit of meat and this seafood. Nice so. One thing to note about the cindery. Let me go get some more. Just try dig. Show me, man. Show. See one there? No, no, no. no. You try dig. It's come to the sun. And you find some, man? Mm -hmm. How you eat it? How you eat it? I just boil it and I put it in a ramen. In a what? Ramen. <laughs> the man said he put it in a ramen. So this flavor your ramen? Yeah. Only pepper. Hello, so we are clear. Yeah. So this in Liri, you don't have to come how, how long you that thing for catch a good amount? Like this and this an hour. One hour you get one, a good one, amount? Once you really dig. Uh-huh. Not like me either play play digger. Yeah, I don't so know. You know I think <laughs> I would one. Yeah. So you say? You used to cook it with ramen. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, it looks like I catch more cindere than I catch rati. Yeah. I think the weather condition is not correct. True? Yeah, we get for a low tire right now. All right, but so. We got our next method to feed. What's your name again? Daburugo. All right, let's go try that one because, again, this is not staged. This is real life situation. We have to go try the next method. Yeah. <laughs> Daburugo. Daburugo. You said earlier that the rocks that were better place to it, so yeah. you throw it there. You put a lee, what you call it? A lee buoy? That makes sense. So I said you just want to use Batman Jimmy Cup too. <laughs> Alright, then you go check? Yeah. Alright. I tell you, you think you're flying one there, boy? Yeah. Boy! Thank goodness! 
How much you get? Three. Why, say, little thanks, boy. Guess what? I didn't come on mission, you know. I don't get my cassava bread earlier. I got farina. See farina? Cassava bread? Yeah, Why? No, I got me a row row. I go cook up this now with some coconut milk. Why? Let's go eat it, man. Because see what I do. It's nice, you know. Yeah. No problem, man. Something, man, I'm having a good time. My shoes they are hiding for the beach, just like that. You see behind me, I feel at home literally. So, remember, we had the Sheldon got some harrow right if away. We get the cindery. Look how much we find. Um, as promised, this is a segment that I will play with the food that we found earlier, the, the ingredients. And I said earlier, we're gonna make that shine. May not touch up too much with this because that's already perfect, like I said. Remember, we went to Mr. Sabal, we have cassava bread, we have farina, we have gungude. And remember that part of this, when we started to grate the cassava? This is what we call sibiba. This is the one before we pressed it and we had the liquid come out. Interesting now, there's a dessert in Garifuna called Dani. And Dani is like a tamale. You know how you make a tamale? You take masa, you put chicken col, and you wrap it in a banana leaf. The Garifuna have a dessert out of cassava from the Sibiba. So we're gonna make a sweet Dani tamale. To that, I will add simply brown sugar. I will add some cinnamon. You can add nutmeg. Remember this are like, you know when you make um, cassava pudding? These are like cassava pudding, plastic pudding, sweet potato pong, same ingredients. Allspice. What I would like to add, I don't know if they traditionally add it, but I want to add some butter to give that little bit of fat content. So we will add some butter. And most importantly, we have to add some tumiligi falumo. That is coconut milk. And I will simply mix this up. So, Dani, again, is just a steam tamale in a waha leaf. So, you know, you get a leaf flavoring, you get a leaf. Oh, you could also add some ginger to this part. But I will add the ginger later to make a sauce. So, I make one steam cassava Dani with a ginger cream sauce. And I'll tell you something, right? I chase it just now and it's already delicious. The spices just perfect. Starches, starches. What happened to starch when you cook it? Swell up, just like masa. Remember in, in, in uh, Nuevo Palmar? Swell up, tamale, colado. Same concept, just because we use cassava now. So just like making a tamale, we have some leaf. And I'll put a little bit, I don't want it too big, right? I want it to look cute. And we just fold them over, do your thing, and that one boss, but no worry. So I get them. So this is a, again, technically it's just a tamale of plastic pudding. So I have water here, I have a leaf steamer, bamboo, put on there. And I want to introduce them here. It's very cute, you know. <laughs> and I say another 45 minutes. The starch will come together, the sugar, the cinnamon, the spice, the clove, the, all the niceties where we put there. That will steam. So make it steam, we're gonna cover it. See you later, babies. <laughs> All right, they dani, they get happy, they get firm up, they cook up and that, I get, you know, you'll see, don't worry. Remember the farina. I get some shrimp with head actually, you know. And I get some, um, remember the rati from Sheldon? So we're gonna cook the farina. I'm gonna add some milk, but it's gonna be a savory application. So here I'm going with the farina. 
a little bit of up milk. And like any starch, right? When you have starch, it gets thick. Because it's a savory, savory application, I will add some butter. I will season black pepper and salt. I could even add some paprika for smokiness. Mm. You see what's happening now? I put the paprika, the black pepper, the salt, and you see it gets swell up. I'll put some media cream. If you have heavy cream, add some heavy cream. It's gonna give that creaminess, that nice color. And finally, what I'm gonna add is good old Mr. Redback cheese. So I have some red back here grated. And to this, I'm gonna add the red back cheese. We call it red back, it's Dutch cheese, we call it, but it's actually an Edam. Edam cheese. And look what they have now, the butter, farina, media creme, carnation milk. I have some chives here. What we call green onion, no? And add it there for color and for goodness. So we're gonna accompany that and pair it with some rati and a little bit of shrimp. And then peel the shrimp. So I got my stove here to get hot. We have to add a little bit of agule falumo, right? Coconut oil. And we have uh, some garlic, no? Anytime you cook seafood, actually, you know what? Garlic is a good accompaniment to that. I have some onions. I'm gonna add some onions first. Ah, yeah, that is the song I love. That means it's nice and hot. I'm gonna add some garlic. And to that, we will introduce the Haroru Hamaba Rati. And like I said earlier, I found. Oh, Pado Kate Saliro! He nearly bite me. Boy, nearly touched me. But, Koya, 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 boy. <laughs> You know what I do to you? You throw up start. You're waiting at the pot. Upside down to, oh, nature go away. Cut ice. <laughs> and put some salt on you. And put some black pepper on you, my love. I'm gonna give you some shrimp. Look. <laughs> you wanna go to? You're going next. Don't worry. Shrimp. At this point, I need a little bit of liquid. Traditionally, I would put some lime juice, but our friends at Carlitz Menzies gave me a little bottle of wine here. I have a Chardonnay, and it can't hurt. It can't hurt to introduce Mr. Israzuri <laughs> to the pot. You know why? He has notes of grapefruit, orange. Would I be saying that when I put citrus, right? So, I put a little bit of butter now, and that, you can't get happier than that. That's why I tell you, Mr. Haroru, Mr. Crab, I thank you. And I just uh, enjoy you. We got the farina, we got the dani. Now, final step, we're gonna make a play on sere lasus. Lasus in Garifuna means liquid, broth. Sere, and then you got the coconut, so you put the plant in. We know we explain all of that. We're not gonna do the hudut and anything. We know they had no plant in. Again, we want the rati to shine. So I add the, the onion, add some garlic. Actually, I know I add the garlic though. You know what, I add some bacon. Because you can't hurt to add a little bit of bacon. What you do, you give it some fat content, you give some smokiness. You hear that sizzle? That way I love again. I will add some lemongrass, fever grass, whatever you want to call it. Give it one leaf, one leaf tidy. So you could take it out later, you don't want to leave it. This is like bay leaf. You want the flavor, but you don't want it to live in there. You don't want to eat it later. Drop the lemongrass in there. Cinderi. Look how much we find. Little mollusks. Cinderi going in the pot. You don't want to come out. Look at this. Come, come, watch, 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 watch what's happening. Look how it open up. If you go to the store, you are buying mussels and scallops for mm, top dollar. Look how it pop open. You see that? You see that Libra there? This is a, this a nice it is. 
This is, oh my goodness, boy. Hi, coconut milk, lemon grass, ratty. Again, still alive. Hold on, let's go. Join the party. Gonna add some seasoning, black pepper and salt. We have some fresh coconut here. And everybody know you have to strain them right in there. You mash them down, right? In Garifuna culture, number one ingredient in Sere is basing. What is basing? Wild basil. Again, everybody uh, have this, you know. Just add the basil. So what I have here is a broth of coconut milk, lemongrass, sindiri haroru, and can't do nothing but it will just cook right down. We had, remember the farina earlier? The farina risotto? Let's plate that man. Creamy. Chives, onion, garlic, risotto of farina. And remember the shrimp and the crab with the Chardonnay, we will play that now. The man not to kick up again, he's dead. <laughs> and some fresh cherry tomatoes. Good. Lemongrass, sindiri, garlic, onion, Hi. crab. Everything in there. Like a real lasus, minus the hudut, minus the plantain. I just want to pour on them, man. Basing. You know me, I'll be at it without basing, right? Why? To that, I can add some chive, some cilantro. And you remember the dani, the sweet cassava pudding. Cassava. Look how it, look how it comes, no? You see what happened now? Look at that. Niceness. I took some freshly grated ginger. I simply put two ingredients, you know. Two things we find here with grocery store every day. Pet milk or carnation and condensed for sweetness. Put that over that. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. And finally, to top this off, I took the cassava that we got from Mr. Cyril Sabal and we peel it, right? And I take my potato peel and I shave them down. I fry it like they make chips. So I'll give it a little bit of crunch. And this is a cassava shard with a cinnamon and sugar. And that is it. Farina, broth, dani. Well, remember I explained to you I'm at home, tongue dang griga, so my mom came to visit me. And then I find this young man, Sheldon, we used to a band together back in the days. So I said, I never want to make this thing and I have a real opinion. So they come and taste the food. So there we have the farina. We make some cinderi. I know you know you eat that before, you know. Okay, you never used to feed me that when I'm young. <laughs> and we got Danny. Also, again, our friends at Carly's Menzies gave us some wine. What can you want taste, Miss Queen? The white one. You like the white one, darling? Okay. We have a Max Reserva Chardonnay. We have a Max Reserva Pinot Noir from Erasoriz. This is from Chile. So we got clear. But you know, again, what I like to do and showcase that no matter if we're there at Tongpia, I still there barefooted, ladies and gentlemen. I still feel like I'm at home, right? But we could do a leaf. When it's a culture, you could say culture too in our good way, right? So try it, please. And also, try the food. Try the farina. Try the lassos. Try, try the basil. Try the farina. Try the shrimp, the gamarong. And there you have another episode of Great Billy's Cooking. I am Chef Sean Quillen, and like I said, I was happy to be at home. But remember, I am coming your way, and just like today, I can't wait to feature your culture, your ingredient, and all thing Belize. Cerame. Cerame te